Hey there, hi there, everybody. So, moving right along, we get to Cyclops. And Cyclops, especially after the last few fights, is gonna be fun. Uh, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> it, it, it was not a fun fight. Um, in theory, it's a fun fight. If, if you're skilled enough to play it, it's a fun fight. And I had fun at the end, once I finally got it figured out. But, going in blind, uh, Cyclops turned out to be... Uh, a challenge. So, going in, I start off with Dr. Doom, just for figure that uh, I can nullify some of his buffs and then power control him, and that goes poorly for me. So, after that, go ahead and uh, bring up Aegon, and Aegon's going to carry me through the rest of the fight. Uh, what I should have done, starting off, is to check out the abilities for Cyclops, and what Cyclops here does is that every time he launches a special, he alternates between two modes. On one mode, the only way to... Uh, evade or counter the special is to parry and by parrying you take no damage you can't evade you can't dex you can't any of that or else you'll get hit you have to parry for no damage and as soon as he launches that special attack then he switches over to the second mode which is unblockable and every time he launches a special attack it switches from one to the other so in addition to all the other things you need to consider between keeping your eye on the counter making sure that you hit uh, Cyclops in a timely fashion so as to not lose the number of uh, hits you're allowed per match plus your own buffs and debuffs and all that jazz. In addition to remembering which phase he's on, it, eh, it wound up being uh, quite the experience. So like I said, by the time I got to the end of the fight, I wound up having a pretty solid rotation, uh, getting a better handle on it, uh, especially at the end where I almost clenched it, almost clenched it. Um, but, you know, overall, it, it's, it's a skill-based fight, which I appreciate. Um, Cyclops is a very reliable champion in that it's not hard to dex his specials. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, making sure that you pay attention and you remember which mode you're in. So Heimdall, again, came in handy and was uh, overall the MVP because... Especially with Aegon, once I got clipped, I got hit, and then you get the Furies. Uh, what I wound up doing is just saving up to special 3 in anticipation of getting clipped. That way, by the time I did get clipped, then I get the 6 Furies, throw the special 3, uh, and then just wail into the guy with uh, all that added boosted damage. So that really helped speed things up. So I was using the 30% attack and health boost overall to boost uh, damage. For Doom, I had Suicides turned off, but then when I switched over to Aegon, I turned them back on again. So he can shrug all that stuff off. Uh, and overall, you know, not not awful, not great, but not awful. Definitely a definitely a fight where uh, it's not a one shot god tier gameplay yet, but very much me just playing poorly. Anyway, I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out. You can uh, see what I did, watch all the times uh, uh it didn't go my way. But Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe. All that stuff does help me out immensely, and I do very much appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be continuing on here, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, take care. Talk soon. Stay safe. And be well, everybody. Bye for now.
Schuf.